Something I get asked most often is how do I locate old home sites? So today I want to show you guys what little things I look for when trying to determine where a house was. So I've been hiking through the woods here for about 20 or 30 minutes. No specific direction, just just walking. And I come across this. Now you you look at these rocks you can tell that this formation is not natural. You can tell this is man-made. <clears throat> to the average person, they might not notice this. So if we go up along here, you can see how they're all piled up there. So this tells me one of two things. One, this was either an old foundation to a house or two, a farmer picked these rocks at a once or what once used to be a field. So we continue up here and you can see this pile of rocks just keeps going and going. I'll go up here. Now that, see that right there? I'll show you guys. This confirms my suspicion. Barbed wire. Now based on the growth of these trees, I would place this barbed wire to be around 1910 to 1920. And that will pretty much last forever. As we can see, it goes up along here. So let's follow it and see where it takes us. And you can still see all these rocks down here. bit of a side mountain going up where this is so bare this is really telling me that this used to be clear at one time normally this would be filled with a brush check out them big rocks down there There's no way that's natural. Now something just caught my eye down here. Let's go check it out. Yeah, farming equipment. So we're close to something. These are all the little signs you gotta look for. See, look at all these big rocks here. And if you look at something like this, you can tell that's been cut. Now I believe this is an old house foundation. I think we're on it. I'm betting this was a well, the way it's filled in with big rocks. But you can kind of see how the square goes around. I see something up there, catches my eye, what's that? Uh, 
Now it looks like it's about early 70s. But I bet you if we keep looking here, we'll find a lot more. More barbed wire. Good sign. And it looks like it keeps going. So, let's follow it. These are all the little signs you gotta look for. Two loops of it there. Now you can clearly see here the old ruts to a road. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but it goes right up into there. And you can see it's all overgrown. Let's walk up here a bit. See the deep ruts there? Right, here's an even better road. Looks like one went up that way too. Let's go look over here. Yeah, see, look at this. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see there's been a path carved on the side of this hill. I bet you this was an old wagon trail. So let's follow it and see if there's anything up here. Bit of a trash pile here. Something to go through in the future. Looks like there was another road going up there. See, it's hard to say how big it was. I mean, it was obviously a farm at one time. And I do have my hunter's orange on today. Just so you guys know. What do you got down here? See that big old tree that was cut off there? Another good sign there's activity in the area, and that's an oldie too, because it's completely rotted out. There's another big old tree that's been cut. Bet you that was a hundred years ago. Nothing left to it now. But check out this big old tree. I'd say that's about, oh, 75, 80 years old. Hard to believe that all this used to be fields at one time. Or that's what the signs are telling me anyway. Even clear up the side mountain. <clears throat> well guys, I think that's going to be about it. That's some of the signs that I like to look for. You got rocks. If you find barbed wire. Uh, old trees that have been cut off. 
or sometimes you'll find old trees that are still standing because when it used to be private property they wouldn't cut them down and that's why they got so big and old something similar to this one where this tree is only about 50 years old <clears throat> so I hope that helps some of you that are just beginning and getting into the hobby and until next time guys thanks for watching